Hey, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about how to create the perfect free report lead magnet to use for growing your email list and how to do it for free using Canva. So I created this free report, this lead magnet in one to two days using a tool called canva.com. It's a free tool and it's helped me to grow my list by over 2000 subscribers in the last year. And if you watch this video until the end, you're gonna see exactly how to pick your lead magnet topic for your, for your free report. You're gonna see how to structure the content of the lead magnet, and you're gonna see how to create it quickly using Canva. So I'm gonna jump into my computer in a second, but before I do, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button if you're enjoying the content. It helps me out, also helps to show it to other people who can benefit from these videos as well. And with that said, let's jump into my computer and show you this free report and this lead magnet right now. Okay, so on my screen here, I have one of my free reports and this is called the subject line secrets report. It is a 16 page report and you don't have to make it 16 pages if you don't want to. I know that sounds intimidating, but that's just what I did because I like writing and I want to make this super valuable. So what I wanna talk about is how to pick your free lead magnet report or topic for your report. I wanna talk about how to structure the content of the report and then also how to create it pretty quickly using this tool canva.com. So the first thing is how do you pick your topic? And this is the most important part of this is picking the right topic for your report because if you don't pick the right topic, then the content doesn't make a difference. So how do you pick the right topic? Well, first, you're gonna take the overall theme of your email list, right? Every email list should have an overall theme of why would, why would people join that list? So for example, my list is, the theme around that is creating internet income or making money online through email or mostly through email. So when someone joins my list, they're learning how to make money online and a lot of the stuff I teach is around email. So if email is my overall theme, what I wanna ask next is, what is a small piece, a small but meaningful result that I can take from that overall theme and create something smaller that can get people a specific result or a quick win that is not covering the entire theme? So I know that was a lot there, but if you think about my theme, which is email marketing and making money with email, that could be multiple different books. I can write entire books on that topic. So that's just way too big of a topic to include in a report. So what I wanted to do was just take one piece of that one part of email and use a report or create a report around that. So subject lines, that's just one part of the email. I don't talk about how to write the email itself. I don't talk about how to make money with email. I don't talk about business models. I don't talk about tools or anything around that, just subject lines. But it's a small but meaningful result because if someone writes better subject lines, they are going to write emails or subject lines for their emails that get them opened, read, and bought for more. They're gonna make more money. So. That is an example of a small but meaningful result. Subject lines are just one piece of the whole email puzzle. And I was focusing on this one piece because once someone writes better subject lines, they're gonna be excited to learn more about email or learn more about the other areas of email. So what I want you to do is take your overall theme for your email list, and if you don't have that, you should probably start thinking about that, and just pull out one small thing, one small but meaningful result that you can teach people in this report that fits into that overall theme, but doesn't cover the entire thing. So you want people to get excited for the next thing that you have, which could be a paid product or more content. So that is how you pick your topic. Mine here is subject lines, and this is called the subject line secrets report again. And what I wanna talk about now is how to structure the content of this report. So I'm not really good at remembering things, so I had to write it down in this tool that I use called wordcounter.net. And we're just gonna go by this page by page, and I'm gonna talk about what's going on. So the first section, is here's why you should pay attention. And this is like an intro with a big idea. So if I go back to my report here and I scroll down, this is just like, I don't know what you call this, the all rights reserved page. If I go down here, this is the, here's why you should pay attention, right? So I made a comparison to something that people are familiar with, right? The power of the unscratchable itch. Everybody knows about that itch where you scratch your elbow, it's not there, oh my gosh, it's on my back or it's on my knee, it's still not there, I can't get it. And for, however long that you have that itch, you are dying to scratch it, but you just can't find it. And so I compared that, I'm, it's like a metaphor, I guess, I compared that to subject lines, right? Subject lines are like that unscratchable itch where people need to open the, the email to actually finally scratch wherever it is. So your subject lines create that unscratchable itch and the only way that someone can scratch it is by opening the email. So I compared it to something that people are familiar with, that's the big idea here, and it gets people interested in understanding what a subject line is and why it's important. So that is the first section here, and this is a couple pages long, and it just goes over, it gets them excited for what they're gonna learn in this report and why subject lines are important. Here's why you should pay attention, right? That's what it should answer. The second part is here are the secrets. So this is like the meat or like the lessons of this report here. 
And so you can see here how to write subject lines that don't suck in one minute or less. And I talk about the problems that they might be going through right now. They're staring at a blank page. They don't know what to write. They're using copy and paste templates that just are not working. And I say, here's how I'm going to teach you about subject lines. And I break it down into threes because people just tend to remember things in threes better for whatever reason. And so I just teach in three secrets. Secret one, use curiosity. And I give some context here, a lesson. I give three examples of curiosity subject lines, and then I give them formulas they can use to write curiosity subject lines pretty easily. And they can send these out to their list as soon as they read this. The second secret is to twist the knife. So I go into a story again here. I give some examples of this subject line, and then I give formulas for actually writing the subject line. Same thing with secret three here ask a question. So I give some context, some examples here, and some formulas that they can take action on. So that is the second part of this is here are the secrets. And this is just like the body of your report, right? You're just teaching them a few things and you're giving them something that they can do and get a result with. Now, what I'd like to do next is give them some bonus secrets. And these are three, again, I like to do things in threes. They expand upon the original three secrets. So in the original three secrets, we talked about curiosity and twisting the knife and asking a question. And so I say here are three additional subject line secrets. Number one, you can profit from, from pop culture. So they can take this, they can combine it with the curiosity formulas and write good pop culture curiosity subject lines. So that's one of the tips here or one of the additional bonus secrets. Use contrast. So I talk about Ben Settle and how he's taught me how to use contrast and mix things up and why you want to mix up different subject line types, like asking a question and curiosity and twisting the knife and not always using the same one because it keeps people guessing, it keeps people interested. And I go into the third tip here, which is to throw rocks at your enemies. I use Donald Trump as an example and how he's so polarizing and he's always building really loyal fans on one side, but also throwing rocks at his enemies like in his case, it's the Democrats. And he's able to build this rabid fan base because he's throwing rocks at his enemies and he's always calling people out on the other side. So I talk about that here and how to use that concept in your emails. So you can see how these three secrets here build off of the original three, these formulas, and how they can combine those two together. So that's the third part here of this free report is to give them some additional bonus secrets that expand upon the original three. Then this is really important here. Number four is how to put it, here's how to put it all together. And you wanna give them a very specific action item to do. If you don't tell people what to do exactly, they're just gonna get confused, they're not gonna do it. So you need to tell them what to do next and how to put it all together. So if I go down here, five simple steps to put this all together. And you can see here, I give them an exact action plan to start writing and sending better subject lines. So I say create 10 subject lines for your own product using curiosity, 10 for twisting the knife, 10 for your own product by asking a question, then send it to your list and alternate through each type. Look at the data, optimize and scale what subject lines work best. So you can see here, nothing complicated, but I'm just telling them exactly what to do so that they can go out, get a result with it and start seeing better open rates and better sales because more people are opening their emails. And that's what you should do in your report is give them an action plan to follow so that they can get a result with the content and information that's in your report here. Now, the fifth step in this, and this is super important if you wanna start making money with your report, is here's what to do next. And you need to tell them exactly what to do next if they want to get more help, right? What steps should they take if they wanna work with you and they wanna check out your other stuff? And this is a great way to sell your other offers and to open up sales conversations for your service or your higher ticket stuff, like your coaching or consulting. So if I go here to my report, I go down to the last page here, it says next steps. And you can see here, I link to my super fast sales email challenge, which is one of my best selling products. It's $49 and they click on this, it goes to the, the challenge and they can check out for that. And they can also check out my other offers here. So if they click on this, this goes to my link tree, which links to my, my, my sales email challenge. It links to my super fast sequences course. It links to my email side hustle coaching program and my done for you service where we write emails for other businesses. And so depending where they're at, they can click on this and pick whatever offer applies to them most. And this will lead to a lot of sales for you if you do it correctly, like how I have it on the screen here. So most people, again, they just say, thanks for reading this report, have a great day. They don't have anything that talks about the next steps. You need this in here if you want people to take the next step with you. Because what's gonna happen is if someone's excited, 
if someone sends out some subject lines here and they get better open rates with it and they get more sales, they're gonna be excited and think, well, I wanna work with Sean even more. What does he have that can help me even more? And if you don't have a page like this, then there's nowhere for them to go. So you always wanna be giving people an invitation for the next step and that's what this page here does. And this has led to thousands of dollars in sales for me for my different offers. So that is the structure of the content. Again, you want to tell them why at, at the beginning, why they should pay attention. You should have some kind of intro with a big idea there. I talked about the unscratchable itch in mind. Give them three secrets on how to do this, this thing. In my case, it's write better subject lines. You can have three bonus secrets. This is not absolutely essential, but I like to add this because it helps to expand upon these original three secrets. You wanna have an action plan or here's how to put it together. Give them a specific action item or an action plan to do to get a result with what you taught them in the report. And then here's what to do next. Tell them what to do if they wanna get more help. And this is great for selling your other offers and opening up sales conversations. Okay, so that is a structure of the content of your lead magnet or your free report. And this has worked very well for me. It's led to thousands of dollars in sales and also 2000 plus people who have joined my email list because they opted in for this report here. And that was all completely organic. So how do you actually create this report? It's very simple. I'm gonna show you in like two seconds how to do this. So all you have to do is go to canva.com. You create an account if you don't already have it. And if you go to this Canva area here and just type in report, oh, there you go, it's right there. If you go to report, there's a blank report page here. And I don't care if you copy my, uh, if you copy my layout, you can copy it if you want, that's totally fine. All I did here was use images and text elements and I just placed it on the page. So you can do that here. If you go here, if you wanna add an image, boom, right? You can just size it however you want. And Canva's good because it shows you like the, like the alignment and all that too. So all I did was just do this. I got some text here. I had like a headline, right? Um, lead magnet. Then I had, this doesn't need to be fancy either. I'm just showing you really quickly how I did it. Um, I had a subheadline here. I think it was actually smaller than this. Yeah, it's around there. And that's how I did it. So I look at this, it's basically what that looks like here. And every other page, if you wanna add a new page, you can just click on this. And all I did for the main pages here was I got um, this body text here and you can align it like this, right? I had a, an image element, I believe. Like that. And I just had more body copy down here. Like that, right? So you can see, it's super easy to create this. Uh, all I did was align, yep, that's exactly what I did. I had a headline up here, text, there we go. I'm not a design whiz, by the way, but this is exactly what I did. I had a title, I had some text here, I used a certain font, I have an image here, and then I just made the entire, uh, I typed out the entire report on a Google Doc and then I just pasted it in here. And that's all you really need to create a report like this. Nothing fancy, just go through this video again, and watch it if you wanna see this exact report, or you can go to emailrainmaker.com and get this report yourself and then model after that. And for the free stock photos, I used a site called Gratis, I think it was called um, Gratisography. I believe that's it. So if you Google that, I think that's it. Gratisography.com or something, let's just see real quick. Yep, this is it. So this is a royalty free images that you can use and I just downloaded this and use it in my report. And that is it. That is how you create a report in Canva for free, super fast. You can use my exact layout here if you want. Feel free to do that. Just don't copy and paste my content because that's stealing. But that is my free report. That's the training on how to do all of this in one to two days or so. So we talked about how to create your own free lead magnet or your free report how to pick your topic, structure the content, and create it quickly in Canva. Your next move is to go to Canva and create your own free lead magnet or free report to help you grow your email list and start getting more subscribers and eventually more sales for whatever product or service or whatever you're selling. 
In the next video, I'll talk about how I grow my email list organically by 10 plus people every single day using a free Facebook group and how you can do it as well. Use the same exact strategy that I'm using. Now, if you got value out of this and found this useful, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. And also, if you wanna learn more about email and get this report for yourself, go to emailrainmaker.com and you can opt in for this subject line secrets report and also see how I send emails to my list and learn more about that. Anyway, that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.